Okay, hello everyone. This is another quick Makey Box update. So, if you've been following what's happening on the Makey Box website in the discussions, um, you'll see that I've had some filament feed issues with my box. So, it appears that what's happening is this is the um, filament feed itself. So, that's the wheel that John designed. Ah. So, there, you can see it's got the little plastic bit so it can bend slightly. And it's got that little steel shaft to the middle of it. And the shaft engages with this hole. Uh, can people see? No. Okay, so that hole. Um, and you can see that the edge of that hole is slightly worn. And what's been happening is, as the Makey Box works, the shaft actually slides slightly um, away from here. So it ends up coming out of this side. Um, and because this side is mounted on the back of the Makey Box, there's nothing stopping it coming out of there. Um, yep, hopefully you can see that. Okay, so the shaft is coming out this way, basically. And what that means is that after a little while, the shaft is not sticking out of this side at all. Uh, so it's not sticking into this part, which is meant to be sitting on here. And of course that means that the wheel is only supported on one side, and because it's only supported on one side, it twists away from where it's meant to be. You get less pressure on the filament and much more force on the wheel, which means that the wheel jams up and then the filament jams up and then the whole job fails. So, according to John, they're going to be modifying these parts so that there's actually a cap here. Um, I'll try to show that. So there'll be a cap um, over this hole, which stops the shaft coming out there. So I've replicated that. This is my cap. It's basically a two millimeter piece of acrylic with a slightly thicker bit that sticks out one millimeter from there. And that will just sit like that with the longer bit sticking into the hole. Um, one millimeter offset is pretty much exactly what it needs here to fill up that hole. So that'll sit nicely in there. Um, and then all of that mounts back on the Makey box and it shouldn't be able to pull the shaft out anymore. So hopefully that'll be the end of the filament problems. Um, so the other thing that John mentioned on the website is this boss here that fits one of the bolts that holds the motor on is a tiny bit too tall. So when I measured it um, at the two back corners here, the assembly was 11.4 millimeters thick and at this one it was 11.6. And that means that the whole motor is slightly twisted in the assembly. And that appears to be what's actually forcing this shaft out um, in the first place. So the solution is quite obvious. Get a knife, shorten this down until the assembly is only 11.4, or according to John, even slightly less than 11.4 should be fine. I've just gone for 11.4. It actually came out a tiny bit less, uh, about 0.02 millimeters shorter than that but that should be fine. And of course I've got the little plastic part there that will um, stop it, stop the shaft coming out anyway. So I'm going to put that back together now and we'll see what happens. See ya.